we're going to work on passing a little bit. So what I want you guys to do, you're going to get either your right knee, person on the net is going to have either right knee up or left knee up. Partner on the 10 foot line is going to have the ball. So your knee is down, yep. Again, breaking down these three positions for passing. For passing, our position one is our ready position. So that head, shoulders, knees, and toes is our ready position. Our position two is arms straight out behind the ball. We get so many kids that come in from Spirit Volleyball, YMC Volleyball. They, have, they want to dig in the sand before they pass. They want to hug a tree. They want to pray before they pass. They want to do all these crazy extra motions. So what we like to tell them, arms straight out, they don't really understand that concept. So what we say is position two, our arms are straight out. And position two and three happen pretty fast. So it's one, two, my arms are straight out. Three, my platform is together. So then that way they understand one, two, three. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of all this crazy stuff. Okay, if they put their hands together before we get our platform out, that's where we get those bad habits. So one, position one, two, three. So with a lot of our drills, we'll start backwards. So we'll start in position three. So for these guys, let's start in position three. So our platform is already out. So we're working on chin down, eyes up. A couple tools that we use for passing. If you guys have seen, um, we'll use a pass, we make these passing sticks. So it's basically just a wooden dowel, uh, like a long rod. And we saw it into about eight inch pieces. That way they can hold onto that stick and they're working on really flexing those arms out, getting those elbows as close together as you can and those shoulders rounded forward. We have a lot of kids that come in with the ice cream cone and the wrapper deal and their arms look like this and their forearms are really far, their arms are really skinny. So we use that stick to turn those arms out. Another way you can do that is with a towel. So you can take a towel and they can literally hold that towel and now we're working on a flatter platform. So why don't you go ahead, you can use that towel. Okay, so we're gonna start in that position three. Again, we're training our platform what we want them to do. What I want you guys to do, we're gonna start in three, so we're not gonna break it, we're not gonna bend our platform. We're working on using that weight transfer to get that ball back to our partner. So weight transfer back to our partner. So we're not swinging our arms, go ahead. Good, so starting in that position three, a couple other props you can use. We'll take a dodgeball or a squishy ball. We'll put it, we'll have them put it under their chin. So they're working on keeping that chin down. We usually do this when we're just in position three, because it makes it a little bit hard to be in position one with your chin down. Good, again, a couple other things you can use. Um, I've seen people that use those yokes, where you put it over your arms, and then your arms are out. That can help a little bit, so we're not going down, we're going out. Good, so from here we just advance it. Now we're gonna say you're starting in position one, so we're starting in a ready position. On the toss, we're going two, three, okay? So we gotta get rid of that towel. So starting in position one, two, three, go ahead. Good, and this is again where you're gonna start to see all of this stuff come out, okay? So it's really important that you focus on two, three, okay? We're doing this on our knees, not passing the ball very far. Two, three, good. Not swinging our arms, transferring our weight forward. We use that weight transfer concept a lot with setting, with serving, with passing. We're always transferring our weight, good. Another way we do, another thing we do on our knees is angle pass. Angle passing is really hard for kids to understand. So what you can do is you can have, let's go ahead, let's put our inside knee up. We're gonna turn this way. Everybody turn that direction. Your inside knee is up, like this. Inside knee is up, inside knee. Inside knee. Yep, good. We can have them start in position three here too. So now we're, our, we're in position three. We're gonna drop that inside shoulder. We're working on transferring our weight forward, not swinging our arms, okay? Freezing that, yep. Yeah, we got it. Yep, inside knee up, inside knee up. Good, go ahead, give this one a try. Position three, good. So now we're working on creating that angle. And again, if we say mind freeze, we say freeze after everything. If we freeze and we look like this, we freeze and we look like this and the ball goes that way, we know what we did wrong. If we drop that inside shoulder and we freeze and the ball goes back to our partner, we can understand why. Good. This angle pass is so hard for kids to understand. We get a lot of kids that the ball is outside their midline. They want to swing at the ball this way. Okay, we want them to get their platform behind the ball and freeze. Good. Now you guys are going to start in position one. So you're going to go one, two, three. We're still aiming for outside this knee. Okay, so you guys are forming that platform yep, behind the ball, dropping that inside shoulder. Good. Nice job. Again, just training our bodies before we get to that movement. Good. We're going to pop up on our feet again. 
pop up on our feet. We're going to go again, end line to, uh, end line to net. We're going to run through those drills that we just did pretty quick, um, but I'm going to add a couple of variations.